what's up guys welcome back to the channel so on our left we have a microsoft azure virtual machine and on our right we have a amazon aws ec2 instance so they're both free tier and uh, in this episode we'll uh, be comparing them to see which one is better and more specifically which one is better for your trading so i do have a video of uh, how you can set up both of these i'll leave a link in the description and with that said let's get started all right so the first thing that we're going to compare is the number of virtual cpus so they both have one virtual cpu and uh, to clarify that we'll go to the amazon aws page for launching a new instance and if you scroll down to compare instance types you notice that the one given for free tier this e2 micro has just one cpu this one right here if you scroll down you'll notice that other instance types have uh, more cpus and if we do the same for um, for micro for microsoft as well go to the page of uh, create a virtual machine and uh, go to see all sizes you'll notice that the one given for free tier this b1s bustable also has just one cpu and others given others which are not in the free tier usually have a lot more cpus so that is the first difference and uh, for that we'll call it a type all right so the next thing that we're going to be comparing is the ram so they also have a 1 gb ram so let's clarify that we'll bring out both rdps let's start with uh, microsoft as well and uh, to find out the ram we'll go to the task manager go to the performance memory and uh, it has a 1 gb ram we'll do the same thing for aws we'll go to the task manager performance and memory so it also has a 1 gb ram so for that we'll also call it a tie uh, the next thing that we'll be comparing is the storage and uh, in this case they also have a 30 gb storage both so this is another tie let's just clarify that we'll bring out both virtual machines and uh, to find out the memory we'll go to this pc and you'll find that uh, it has a 30 gb storage and uh, for the AWS, same process, this PC also has a 30 GB storage. So yes, this is another type. Uh, the next thing that we're we'll going to be comparing is uh, the temporary storage. So in this case, Azure takes the lead. So let's just clarify that. Uh, find out the temporary storage it's pretty clear right here the azure version has a 4 gb storage and uh, the amazon doesn't have any so that is a clear lead by azure the next comparison is uh, the speed of the cpu so azure has a 2.5 gigahertz speed while uh, aws has a 2.4 so let's just clarify that we'll start with azure go back to the task manager the performance and the cpu and you can see here that it has a speed of uh, 2.59 gigahertz while the azure while well, uh, the aws version uh, task manager performance and a cpu you can see here that it has a 2.4 gigahertz speed so that is another win for azure so azure is taking an early lead all right so the next thing that we'll be comparing will be the processors so azure has an intel xeon platinum processor while uh, the aws version has an intel xeon 
So of the two, this one is uh, definitely more powerful. The name gives it away. So this is definitely another win for Zua. But let's just clarify that. So if you go to the task manager, performance and the CPU, you can find uh, the processor written here, Intel Xeon Platinum. And if we do the same thing for AWS, go to the task manager, performance and CPU, you can find your processor here, Intel Xeon. So yes, that is another win for Azure. So, so far, Azure definitely has the upper hand. And uh, the last thing that we'll be looking at is uh, the regions. So the regions that are offered in uh, the free tier mode. So Azure just has five regions available, while uh, Amazon AWS has 17 regions in free tier. So to clarify that, let's just go to the setup pages. We'll start uh, with Amazon, and I mean we'll start with Azure. So if we go to here, regions, we'll find that five regions are available here. But in the case of uh, Amazon, AWS, when you're launching an instance, you can launch an instance in any of the regions that will appear here, any of these regions. The ones that are restricted and could be charged are these ones that are not enabled yet. So you can see that AWS definitely has a lot more regions. So here, AWS, the upper hand so by looking at this comparison it is actually very easy to conclude that microsoft azure has the better free tier especially considering these three categories but this is just the theoretical side of things uh in the in the second part of this video i'll be giving both virtual machines uh tasks to do and i uh, will see which virtual machine completes the task faster and uh, without freezing or hanging so to get that video to not miss out on that video uh simply subscribe to the channel press the bell icon uh, the results will actually surprise you so if this content was helpful then uh, like the video and i'll uh, see you next time